Suns, they have delisted Hugh Greenwood and Rory Thompson. He's got to be careful with these blokes. But they would have had discussions. I know, and it probably means less now than it would have... It doesn't even raise an eyebrow now because you know they're playing funny buggers with the management and they've got to get draft picks in and then it will bring yep. it back on and blah, blah, blah. all of that. But it's upsetting. Is there any chance a club might go, I'll tell you what, Hugh Greenwood played some damn fine footy during the year. I might take him. No, you wouldn't do that because they'd all have a gentleman's type agreement. Can you think of one club out there that would break that unwritten agreement that they might all have? North Melbourne have come in with a, with a mega offer, uh, I'm told. Um, over the weekend and, and come in and, and swoop. So before Gold Coast had the chance to redraft him, they've come in and, and picked him up as a delisted free agent. The paperwork's about to be lodged, I'm told. And um, <laughs> yeah, he, he's about he's going to play for North Melbourne next year. I read the news on Wednesday, and my wife actually rang me and, and sort of said, you know, um, I was at the airport on the way back to Victoria. So. Yeah, I rang him Friday, and it escalated from there. Wait, so, so Mrs Noble originally gave you the idea? Well, I was just about boarding the plane, and she sort of sent me a text saying you should, Hang on. You should jump onto AFL.com. So I can't take all the credit. So, yeah, so she was very uh, sleuth in her observations. Has she been part and parcel of other recruiting decisions you've made, David? <laughs> <laughs> might be my secret weapon. I'm letting you in here, Jared. We're aware that you know, there, there was the potential for this to happen, but... We thought we chose the players um, that other clubs potentially would pass on. He was one of those being a 30-year-old. You know, um, when it came through yesterday that North Melbourne had made him a pretty good offer, we, we got in touch with Hugh and we've had a chat to him over the last 24 hours and, um, and, he, and he goes with our blessing. It, it wasn't what we planned it to be. Gold Coast have had a horrible record with things going wrong at footy clubs that shouldn't go wrong. Now, this is your first day at the club, so far be it for me to say that you're responsible for, for past errors, but can you... Can you... Not, 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 a, not a great start, Sam, was it? No. <laughs> we didn't want this to happen. We wanted Hugh Greenwood on our list next year. Yep. Um, North Melbourne have found a loophole to, 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 to get him out of our club and get him to their club. Well, well done to them. To use Wayne Campbell's own words, David Noble, as we welcome you onto the show, you found a loophole. <laughs> G'day, Sam. Hey, Jared. I don't think it's a loophole, mate. It's, it's the actual rules. What would the AFL be thinking, do you think, this morning? They would be on the phone going, what the f***? Flaming hell is going on. Flaming hell, I think Elf, you're going to go. Elf Stewart style. Of all the low mongrel acts that have to just about take the cake. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's an embarrassment on this footy club. They are kicking own goals in their own backyard when they can't afford to. And you know what? Good on North Melbourne. They, they, they think we're all going to play by the rules that you thought. The gentleman's agreement. Bullshit. That gentleman's agreement. He's going to make us better. We're going to get it.